I got to ask this question. Can I use Google Groups to be able to send emails out to a group of people on a regular basis so I don't have to type in 10, 15, 20, 100 email addresses over and over again? I'm going to show you the basics of using Google Groups in this video, but before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all of this content for you. In a previous video, I showed you how to use Google Labels and to be able to put groups of people together in Google Contacts to send out an email message on a regular basis. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of using Google Groups to do the same thing. So I've got to go to Google Groups. So I hit the nine dots here. Groups uh, doesn't often show up here. There's Contacts. But if I want to go to Groups, the easiest way to go to Groups is, hit, is open a new tab, logged into Gmail, Google Workspace or Gmail, makes no difference, hit the plus, and type in Google Group. Just like that, Google Groups, and hit, hit enter. There it is, groups.google.com. Now, you can see I've created a Google Group already right here, uh, but I'm going to show you the basics of creating a new group so that you can put in a, a group of email addresses, again, to be able to email on a regular basis. So I'm going to hit New Group. Now again, this is going to be very basic. I'm not going to teach you everything about Google Groups, which is, by the way, a really powerful Google tool, but very basic. And my purpose for this group is one-way messaging for me to be able to have a Google Group email address that I can email to, send, con send information out to that group of people that are in that Google Group for one-way messaging. So hang tight, I'm going to show you how to do it. So first of all, I got to give it a group name. I got to give it a group name. Teddy Testing. And so the email address is going to be Teddy Testing at googlegroups.com. Write that down because you're going to want to put that in your Google contacts to make it easy for you to bring up that email address when you're sending email messages to this group of people. Here's my description. I'm going to write that for you. Hit next. Now, who can see the group? Uh, search for the group. Only group members. No one else. I don't want anybody else finding. Who can join the group? Only people I invite. I don't want anybody else finding or getting into this group. Who can view conversations? Only group members. Who can post? Only the group owner. Because I'm not going to have a manager, and I don't want group members posting. This is a one-way group uh, Google group. So I'm just me. Who can view the members? Only me. I don't have any need for anybody else to see who is in this group. Let me hit next. Now, here's the, uh, the where you start adding members. You can only manage, I'm, I want to directly add members, send invites to join the group, okay? I, uh, if I turn that off, it's an invitation to join, but when I add them directly, it's, I'm adding them to the group, I'm not giving them an option. By the way, they always have an option to get out. Google group functionality, there's always an unsubscribe button. Now I need to drop 10 email addresses in here. Let me get 10 email addresses, hang on one second. Now I went and built a list of 10 email addresses. And for the sake of this video, they're all made up email addresses. Um, you can only have 10 that you can add to a group at a time, but I can add 10 and then save those and I can add another 10. And I can add, you know, over and over and over 10 at a time. You can have pretty much an unlimited number of members in a group, but I would caution you to be very purposeful about only adding members to the group that, that they are, who are relevant. If you start building a spamming, scamming email, a campaign using Google Groups, you're going to lose your, your, your Google account. So be very purposeful about this. So I added my group members. I could have added group managers. Here's the owner. Here's my welcome message. Make a decision how often I want to send these emails to them. I can, I can send them an email every time, give them a, a digest or a bridge, or don't give them any email and force them to go back to the website and see it. And the goal is to send an email. So each email will go to, the, go to them. And now I can hit create the group. Verify I'm not a robot, create the group. And now my group is created. Now I gotta go to the group because I wanna show you something that's important. Under about, you can see the email address that I'm hiding from you right now, but it's right here under uh, the about section. And one more thing to share with you that's important. 
under group settings, under email options, you'll see right here, post replies to, and when you post replies to, I recommend group owners only. That way, anybody who responds to the email that you send to this group, their responses will come back to you. So have them come back to the group owner, and once you're done changing that, you hit save settings. Now, I'm done with Google Groups now. There's nothing else I need to do. I've created my Google Group and I set it up in a way that I can use it. Now, I've gotta go, I can show you how to use this. Go to email. By the way, you can see I've already got an email from Google Groups telling me that Teddy Testing is set up and ready to use. Now, earlier I told you, write down that email address, teddytesting at googlegroup.com. You need to put that in your contact information. Let me make sure it's in mine. Yep, it's in mine. I put it, I labeled it the expert team and I have the Google Group email address on there. Now, this is real easy. Go create an email. When I create, I make this big so you can see it, create an email, type in Teddy Testing. There's the expert team right there. And now I can send an email message, whatever I want to say, everything I want to share with them and hit send. Now let's go see what that email message looks like. By the way, that's the 10 email messages that, that they got saying they were added to the group. And look over here under forum, here's the email message they get testing to see if this works. And again, because it's a Google group email, this is the message I sent. And at the bottom of every Google group email that gets sent out, they have the ability to unsubscribe if they want from right here. And when they reply to this message, because of the way I set it up, it's gonna to go to the owner of the group, which happens to be me. Google groups is a very useful tool if you want to send out, I hate using the word bulk, but email, uh, recurring email messages to the same group of people on a regular basis. My coaching to you would be very would be to be very purposeful about using Google Groups. If you set up a Google Group and you start spamming people and they start marking your messages spam or unsubscribing rapidly, Google's going to get very upset and the application is likely to call, uh, is shut down the group and or shut down your Google account. There's two ways to send out group messaging on a regular basis. Number one would be to use labels in Google Contacts. Look for the video that I created on how to create a label. Or number two, to create a Google group and put those people in a Google group and when you and set it up in such a way that it is a one-way messaging and with replies coming back to the owner of group, and it's a very useful alternative to using Google contacts and labels. And by the way, here's the other big advantage of Google Groups. You can have an unlimited number of email addresses in there. You can only send out, especially in Gmail, you can only send out a specific number. It might be somewhere close to 600 emails a day. So if you're trying to send a group messaging out to more than two or three or 400 people, then Google Groups would be the best way to go. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope that's helpful for you.